everybody. So this Friday night, I visited the Sonic in Latson, South Carolina for the Dodge Mopar meet. And as you'll see in this video, it's a pretty popular uh, car meeting place up here in Ladson. So a uh, really nice Sonic, by the way. You can eat inside. It used to be a Burger King back in the day when I was in high school. But um, as you can see, Fridays and Saturdays, it's a pretty fun, good time out there at the Sonic. So uh, basically what you'll be seeing in this video, I'll be checking out some of the uh, good looking cars out here this night. And uh, this is one of the cars right here that, uh, that brought my interest to coming out. His name's Dave. Um, he's got a Dodge Challenger. RT Sports, Motorsports up on there. It's got the 6.4 liter under the hood. But Dave's car, you know, is not just your typical green Challenger. He's got a lot of money wrapped up into it. And uh, as you can see, it's a good looking car. I mean, take a look at the interior. First of all, he's got an airbag suspension on it, but um, you got a Barton shifter in there. I'm not sure if the car's manual or automatic. I think it, it looks like it's a uh, manual. Uh, the seats got the uh, the bumblebee kind of right there on there. And anyways, uh, the steering wheel's looking good. Nice looking car, nice and clean. Dave does a really good job with it. Um, one thing that stands out though is this airbag suspension. I mean, it really does a great job and it's not too loud. I didn't hear the compressor cut on or off one time just while uh, checking it out this night. But as you can see, he's getting ready to lift it up and then you'll see it drop back down. You know, the airbags are nice on the cars. Uh, first of all, like Dave was telling me last night, he can adjust, you know, each particular wheel, stiffen up the suspension, make it softer, things like that. So, um, you know, it's nice to sit the car down nice and low in the parking lot like that, have it sitting pretty, and then uh, lift it back up a little bit when you're ready to hit the streets. So, Dave, congrats. You did a great job on your car. It's definitely a uh, beautiful vehicle. All right, the next person I'll meet tonight is Devin. He drives an 06 Dodge Charger Daytona, and uh, these cars are really good looking. Um, you know, I mean, to find a full four-door vehicle that's got over 400 horsepower, as Devin says, that's pretty cool, man. I'll tell you, so props to you, Devin. Nice young guy out of uh, Charleston, South Carolina. Let's go ahead and meet him right now. All right, what's up, everybody? So we're here with our first guy tonight, Devin, and Devin's got, uh, it's an 06 Charger Daytona. So pretty sweet ride, and he says we caught him on a lucky day because it's clean. <laughs> so uh, Devin, uh, Dwight, roll in a little more, uh, just so we will make sure our audio comes out nice. Devin, tell us a little bit about your Daytona. What have you done to it, and uh, what's stock on the car, and what's maybe aftermarket? Okay, so the interesting thing about this is when we bought it, uh, I think back in June or July of last year, we actually bought it, how you're looking at it, as is. Okay. We've done, the only thing that I can think of we've done was this oil catch can. That's it. So it's already had some of the end glow lighting under here. It had the glow, it had the halo lights, it had um, the modification shaker with the hood pins. Did you buy it in Charleston? Um, this actually came down from North Carolina. It was up there and we actually bought it three days after somebody sold it to them. Wow. So it wasn't even, they didn't even do like the examination of the car yet. <laughs> it, was it was just, just yeah. that quick. And you found it on the internet, just car shopping? Yeah, we were actually looking to trade in my um, 2000 Chevy Silverado. We've had it for like 16 years, mm -hmm. and once I was going to be done with college and everything, I couldn't really take it with me. Um, it was just pretty much just going to sit there. I was, gonna, I was supposed to take my mom's car, so we traded it in. We found this hefty yeah. beast sitting in North right. Carolina, so they had it come down here, and we bought it. It now, was, uh, when, you know, when you say hefty beast, I mean, for, for some of y'all out there that don't have a clue about Dodges, break it in. I mean, what engine's actually under the hood right here? This is a 5.7 liter V8 Hemi engine. Um, the top speed that I've gotten it to, just alone, is about 120. Okay. Um, and I actually did that on the Charlotte Motor Speedway when we went up there for a trip. And... Um, so it's pretty fast, just stock like it is right now. Yeah, it's well, plenty, actually, yeah. It's, it moves a lot smoother because we, I don't have resonators on the underside of the exhaust. Um, we have um, Super 10 mufflers on it, and then this shaker modification actually has air blowing directly into it and literally blowing on the um, air filter. Okay. So it's, I'm actually pushing 
anywhere between four to four ten horses blowing through this thing. Wow. And that's a four-door sedan, so it's a pretty big car. So you need some, you need 400 horsepower to get this bad boy rolling, which I'm sure it probably does just it, fine. It does have some of its flaws. This thing actually was lowered about an inch, only on the front end, which is nice. It gives it a meaner look, but yeah. the countless times I bought them out is mm -hmm. terrible. But I can't do anything about that. I thought it might be able to be cranked back up, but. So it's not a coilover system? No. They just put lowering springs? You, you would have to change the whole struts and the suspension on the front end to lift it back up. But we're just going to leave it alone. Yeah, it looks it looks it always looks nice a little lower to the ground. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now let's take a look at that suspension real quick. So, um, now these, what size, are those 18s or are those uh, 20s? Those are 18s. Okay. And these are, these are the original Daytona wheels, too. Okay. If I were to sell just the rims by themselves as a set of four, uh -huh. that's over a grand. For wow. the original Daytona wheels, that's, that's I would keep. That's that's it. Yeah, yeah. He's got it pretty much original, which looks nice. The hood's got um, you know, it's got the black vinyl mat on there with Hemi on there. Uh, you got hood pins, which looks great. Uh, now, so the Daytona pretty much comes just like this, black top. No, actually, well, that was don't. added on. This was an add-on. They did uh, the black wrap on the top. They even added carbon fiber strips on the side. Okay. Um, some of them are kind of tearing apart uh, just because they've been on there for so long. Yeah, and, and as you can see in the back, the black, you know, it matches up well, rolls over up on the spoiler, and you got some black right there on the rear deck lid. So it looks good. Dual exhaust, chrome pipes look nice. I'd say this is a good looking Daytona right here tonight in Somerville, South Carolina. Devin, thank you for letting us check it out, man. No problem, man. Cool. My pleasure. And uh, guys, if y'all would like to check out Devin's YouTube channel, how can they find you? Uh, my channel is Darth2438. It's all one word. Darth243? Yeah, like Darth Vader. And check him out. Uh, you got any car videos on there at all? Or is it you um, doing more? What kind of stuff uh, for people out there? Some of the stuff that I do, uh, right now I'm doing things like vlogs. I'm trying to do skits, different challenge videos. I mean, you name it, we're trying it. Me and my friend, uh, Michael. Um, his channel is always in my description, so you can find him there too. But that's pretty much all we do. We just try to find fun things to do around town. Share the love, people. All right, thanks for talking with us, Devin. So, uh, last but not least, I ran into Bob last night. The uh, local car club guys out here say, Bob, once you get talking with him, it's hard to stop. But, um, got a quick little clip. I don't want you to have to listen to the 30 minutes of talking to Bob. But, uh, got one little funny clip. And the truck's a bit dirty because of the time of year. Now, Bob, what are these right here? They play Dixie. <laughs> Do they really? Yes. They play the song Dixie. <laughs> oh, we got to hear. Is it loud or not too bad? Are you ready to hear this quite a yeah. of years? <laughs> That's country, folks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>